Hi, my name is Dean Evanson, and I'm going to share a little bit of what the process is that we go through to transfer very old videotapes into hard drives. These videotapes we're working with come from the early 70s and late 60s, and they were reel-to-reel -reel video machines, and we carried a portable video machine, which was 35 pound pack that you hung on your shoulder and an eight pound camera that you held connected and it was connected by an umbilical cord. So that was portable video in those days. And one of the things that happens with the video tapes, you actually have tapes. You don't have the little cassettes that you put in. You have tapes that you have to put in specifically and to thread it through all these wheels and knobs and things like that. And that's what this machine down here is. It's a player of that kind of tape. And here's, here's the tape, it's this size. It's only this thick. And one of the things that happens with the video over time is it absorbs water into the back of the tape because of the backing of the tape. They didn't figure out this till quite a, till about 1985. What happens is the anhydrous backing absorbs water. And so when you play the tape without doing anything to it, the backing sheds off the tape and pretty soon you can't see anything on your video playback at all because it's all been covered over by this backing. And then you have to stop the machine and clean it up with Q-tips and alcohol. And what we found in our research of this whole process is that the best thing to do is to bake the tapes. The old tapes that were made from early 70s to 1985, the half-inch tape needs to be baked for approximately six hours, five to six hours, at about 130 degrees. If you go over 140, you could possibly damage the tape itself. After it's been heated up for six hours, you let it cool for at least six hours. And then after that, you can play it back. You can bake it again, even if you baked it once, it doesn't, there's not a limit to how many times you can bake it, but it does seem to work. And once that happens, that solidifies the backing on the tape and you can usually play the tape without a big problem. Sometimes there are more difficult tapes that are older at the top and you have to clean the machine a lot more. So we take our Q-tip and put some alcohol on it. And clean the heads. So we open the tape up a bit here. Let it loosen up from all those wheels and guides that it's stuck to. And then you go in and you find the head, the video head, which is right in this line on the video machine. And you can see the head, it's very small. And you go in and you clean it by going back and forth like that, in line with the slot that the heads are in. You don't go up and down, you go this way. Up and down would actually damage the heads. And then you roll this head over so you can pick up the other head. There are two heads to a video machine. And you find the other head, and here it is. And you do that one. 
and then we also make sure all the guides are clean free from any backing that's fallen off and you can see it it comes in little white I'm sorry black lines that are lying next on top of the, the various guides that this tape machine has and once you do that you can take your baked tape you bake it for six hours and then you let it cool for at least that long and then you put it on the machine so our setup for transferring analog video into digital video requires that we have a machine that can play back the specific type of analog tape that we've got and out of this machine there comes a video signal and an audio signal the video signal then goes to a time-based corrector which is this unit here and the video out of the video signal comes out of the time-based corrector and goes into a, an analog to digital converter unit and this brings the analog signal in and then digitizes it and it goes through this cable up into the computer and the computer then using a program such as Final Cut Pro allows us to record that digital signal and put it onto a hard drive that the computer is connected to. We'll put the machine on play. There it is. That's a early title. But you can see it's it's still a little rough at the top. And I'm going to try it without the time-based corrector because I already did it with the time-based corrector. Yeah, how does television work? No, it doesn't work. It has to have the time-based corrector. Yeah. Well, what, what is happening with this TV right there? What is happening in that camera? In that camera, there's a little thing that's receiving the light rays that you're emitting, right? Okay, that's you know it. What light rays are. That's a like, tape from the Metropolitan Museum of Art that we did in a workshop with the kids. Thank you.